top mom on trial. Her trial finally underway in the murder of her two-year-old little girl, Kelly. Kelly's body found just 15 houses from the Anthony's home. Today, a complete shift in top mom's appearance and demeanor in court, laughing, smiling, joking throughout the day in front of the jury panel. But that's not the headline. Top mom jurors arrested. Out to Diane Diamond joining us, special correspondent, Newsweek. She's there at the courthouse with Jay Casares. Diane, what happened? Well, uh, we, we've gone through about 40 people so far. We have seated so far about 17. And three of them, Nancy, do have some sort of arrest records. Two of them are DUIs. One of them is a 70-something-year-old woman, happened years ago. Uh, but one of them sort of made us all chuckle in, in the courtroom. He looks like he's about 18 years old, but I think he's in his mid-20s. And he said he was in Tennessee once and got caught with um, something to smoke. Okay, Jake Asaris, that's <laughs> not good. So, so far we've got, I think, three or four jurors that have been arrested. All right, that's not good, but that guy, he is very pro the death penalty. He says he will not consider mercy, that when people know that they've done something wrong, it doesn't matter what age they are. So he's actually a prosecution juror, Nancy. And I understand today, Top Mom had a completely different demeanor, although she's still freezing out her defense attorney, lead defense attorney, Jose Baez, won't look at him, talk to him, sit, sit near him in trial. She's been talking, joking, touching on the arms and hands, her, uh, the other lawyers there. What happened? Why the sudden shift in personality, Jane? You know, Nancy, I'm seeing her as serious, and she's writing many notes. She's discussing the jurors with her attorneys. You're right, I don't see contact with Mr. Baez, but she's really ingrained in the process. Yeah, and this we are taking your calls. Unleash your lawyers, both trial veterans, Jason Oceans, joining us out of New York. Alex Sanchez, also out of New York, both defense attorneys. Jason Oceans, the look you want to project in front of the courtroom, in front of that jury panel, I don't know if laughing and joking is the right look. No, but, you know, you, you want to seem relaxed. You want to seem serious. You want to seem that you're in focus with everything that's going on. And, and this is going outside the, you know, the, the bounds a bit. But, yeah, joking and laughing is never going to be inappropriate when you're being watched in a murder trial. We're talking about it right now. Alex Sanchez. Jurors arrested. Now, I, I've got to share that on my first bank robbery case, I ended up having a bank robber, a convicted bank robber, on the jury. It was not on his jury questionnaire, uh, and I found out too late. I didn't want to throw him off then. So, long story short, you know, at least he understood the inner workings of bank robberies. I don't know if it's going to help Tot Mom in that manner uh, or hurt her to have people with arrest and or convictions on her jury weigh in. You know, having an arrest record does not necessarily preclude you from being on a jury. There may be some time, five years, ten years, but sooner or later, I mean, society assumes you're rehabilitated and you could sit on a jury and, uh, you know, be fair like anybody else. But if I knew someone had a criminal r arrest record, I probably would want them on the jury. Because As they may a not, defense they may, lawyer. Right. They may have had bad experiences with the police or the prosecutors, and they're secretly harboring some resentment. And if I'm Jose Baez, I want somebody on the jury that has resentment against the police.